Okay. So. Also schauen wir mal. Schauen wir mal, wie es weitergeht. Hier. Wer denn jetzt tatsächlich der böse. Böse Mörder ist und so. The group's leader Byakuya got killed. And his killer is among this group of students? No, I'm not gonna believe it. I'll never believe it. Cause I believe in everyone. Yeah. So do your best. And don't forget to save regularly. Regularly. Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that. You, you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. B but there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. But there's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Byakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel Nagito looks, you know, clean. Okay. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. I'm not talking about your looks. Why does me can think Nagito looks clean? Uh, because Nagito... There's no blood on Nagito. I see! Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any bloodstains on him? Yes! That's it! Because under the table... There was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, it's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me? That is weird. <laughs> hmm. You just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? Hmm. hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? Yes, there's only one thing you could have used to block. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, storage room tablecloth. I can prove it with this. You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? If there are bloodstains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, getting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone... That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Th then what does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Huh? No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody, so... There's no denying Byakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! Place where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different? Huh? Hajime, you look like you're onto something. R really? B but it sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm onto something, but it's still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Moving forward, 
We should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. Improved Hangman's Gambit. Blah. Puzzle game. Two different letters clash, you'll take damage. Two of the same letters clash, they will fuse. Catch and release. Byakuya got stabbed and the place where the killer did the stabbing are the same. Using those words as a clue I should put aside my pre preconceptions and try to think about it. Something, something is coming to me. Just a little bit more I have a feeling I can see something. Uh. I got it! I got it! The killer must have stabbed Byakuya from under the floorboards! Uh, under the floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps. 
and there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Byakuya to death. Brocken. Glückwunsch, Level 31. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. But from where? And how? I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. If I remember correctly, one person here should know how to get under the floorboards. You're the only one! Well, that's hey, Gundam, you dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that earring. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that Hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboards, right? Ah, there it is. I found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound earring. Ha ha ha! It seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began, then that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So... Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. Truly, this is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. Oh! Man up and speak more clearly! Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! There he goes blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous! You're just a breeder, you know! Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. And that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Hmm. Huh. Are you sure? You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy, like... No, I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? 
Monami over there can be my witness, right? Yes! This Monami over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... Wissen wir, jetzt wäre es wirklich mal noch nicht. Judging from the photo I took before the blackout, it obviously has to be him. Yakuya! Yay! It's decided! What? Yay. What the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting! Good news, you're now allowed to use the silencer. Ach, deswegen konnte ich vorher die White Noise Dinger nicht kaputt machen. Weil ich die noch nicht kaputt machen konnte. Okay, gut, jetzt, jetzt kann ich's. Okay. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. Ganze Count Dinge. Uh, was haben wir? Blackout, das ganze Gelaber. Use, use it during the blackout, gas stove, and the kitchen is powered by electricity. Standing. Fuyuki apparently came to the old building and walked away. This could be wichtig sein. Head straight to the office. And. Klo war besetzt. Was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And they could have stared at panties all day. Ooh. Without going to the storage room in the dark. Oh. <gasps> Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer. But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. <laughs> no, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um. Oh, you're right. Uh, what happened, Fuyuhiko? Oh, hey, what are you doing here? All alone at a place like this? I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. <laughs> How diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Ch Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he came to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? 
There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. But I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked. For clarity's sake, once again. It appears we're getting close to the final stage. The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. The hot iron plate, portable stove. For cooking hot pot. That was really dark. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. Yep. What if they used a light? Oh! I agree with that. I know. The killer had a light with him. <gasps> oh, I was right? But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 white glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problem using it. It's the portable stove. A portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. What? Ah. Uh -huh. A hole. What kind of hole? It would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime. Will you battle against me? No, that's wrong. Time for a duel. Will you be able to break through my argument? What does he mean battle? It sounds like he's enjoying a game or something. There, there's no way I'm going to lose against someone like him. Let it rip and so uh... Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway... No. Crap! The reason Kazuichi couldn't see it was because the hallway was... So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway... Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? After all, he was walking <laughs> near the hallway, right? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see it was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Allow me to cut through those words! Yeah. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. 
I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh. You still don't remember your talent, do you? Uh, who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey! It's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? P pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it, no matter what it is. So you're telling me to call out the real killer, even though I really don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? The person used the hallway's fire door as cover and used the portable stove to move in the dark. And snuck under the floorboards to stab Byakuya to death using the glowing paint as a mark. So the only killer I can think of is... You went only you! Yakuya. Hat Hajime. Ja. Oder doch Yakuya. Oder der da. You're the only one. Teru Teru. Could it be you? Huh? What? What are you talking about? Teru Teru's the killer? Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak freely. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? You're cruel! Cruel! Too cruel! Ah... Uh, teru Teru... That attitude is so not like you. For the ultimate cook to get so upset... Call me Chef. <laughs> if you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The... The future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You... You're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards too. So how would they be able to stab Byakuya? You're not gonna say they shined the light on Byakuya, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. Th that's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. Wh what? A shining liquid in the dark? <laughs> that sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. 
The victim was targeted by a mark. What was the mark? What was the mark? Er. Uh, I can prove it with this! The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah! By using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark! I see. The killer didn't target an actual person, they just struck the moment the glowing paint moved! That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife! So... The killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! S seriously I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Th this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? She heard... Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? Th that's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So... Why was he in the dining hall? I... I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. So, if you want, you should try licking me. And stuff. No way! You look greasy! But I heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right! Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Hmm. Which means... He's not the killer. Chakaka. No, that's not it. Yahaz of us. Why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Yeah, hope. <sighs> no, gap. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. I'll shoot through that contradiction. Oh. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? Why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but... I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second! Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I 
told you to wait a sec, ain't I? Yeah! What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Where are you from again? Ooh, I was born in West Asabu and raised in South Aoyama. Hey, you guys, this guy's a major liar. If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was. I was there the whole damn time. Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. Damn right. You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories. His accent is getting even worse. He's definitely lying. However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. No! Oh, is there any way we can decide? Why don't we hmm. consult his memories? His memories? Ah, say I don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? Oh. Probably can. Garu! You again! Whether Terror Terror was in the dining hall during the blackout in order in order to know for sure, I just need to throw that question at him. I can prove it with this. If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time, right? Well, what? No! Don't make me remember! It's so embarrassing! No, this is a very important question. Well, Teru Teru, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? Um... It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. slipped from my mind. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so... N Nagito, say something! Hmm... I guess you might have to give up now. Wait, give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, ho ho hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? Now, the murder weapon hadn't been cleared up yet, Cher? It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um, he said if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? The weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Pyakuya's wounds, it was a thin, edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all! Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um, he said, try to do it. <sighs> what a confusing accent. Anyway, we need to focus and think about this. 
a thin edge tool with a diameter of about 50 mm and at least 50 cm in length. The weapon that meets those requirements might have been used at the crime scene. How what's that? Damon's Gambit. <coughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Das ist wenigstens ein bisschen spannender, ein bisschen dynamischer als das Hangman's Gambit davor. Das Hangman's Gambit aus dem ersten Teil ist... That's it! The weapon must be the Iron Skewer! Das aus dem ersten Teil war zum Groß Großteil recht langweilig. Huh? The Iron Skewer? Before the party, as Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Teru Teru. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skew missing. Ah, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, 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 Avril Lavigne! Avril Lavigne? Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also... I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Which means... He obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh! 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 Whoa! Finally, we are nearing the end. Uh, surrounded by solar shields. Cluster, destroy soul shields, high speed dispute battle, all the time, but sorry, the panic talk action. PDA. Destroy soul shields. Those remarks before the tempo of the song, time button press with a tempo marker. On opponent's remark. Destroy. Destroy the remark within the time limit. You will end up getting hurt. Tempo up. Missing tempo down. Some changes, tempo changes. All the timing of each button, please be careful. Final blow. Destroy final argument for what will be for words will be displayed. Press buttons in right order, able to compose the words for final strike. Just make sure make your argument while searching for words that will trump your opponent's final. So shields will recover. Oh. 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 
What the hell you even saying, you stupid cutter, hey? He said, um... Oh, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hick? I guess... We have no choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. Iron Skewer is the weapon, then hiding it in the kitchen would be the easiest way to slip it by. But Byakuya and I checked the kitchen pretty thoroughly before the party started. Which means, was the weapon... Was the weapon was already hidden somewhere we couldn't find it. Could it have been an unexpected place? Where would that be? Where did, the, where did he hide a long weapon like an iron skewer? I'm not Think hiding anything! He said, I'm not hiding anything! I'm not hiding anything! I'm not hiding anything! I must reveal to Terror Terror the conclusive evidence that proves he's the killer. Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Paris Hilton! Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Paris Hilton! Unforgivable! Where would the weapon be? Uh, meet on the boat. This is the end. On the bone meat. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? The bone on meat. On, on bone the meat. What are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything in a place like that. Th that's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Byaki and I thought. That's why we overlooked it. Seems there are no dangerous items like a steel and the Trusco earlier inside that part of food. That appears to be the case. Uh, that appears to be the case. Pure wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepare, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is the meat on the bone. What now? Well, I, I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now! So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye! All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing! Will you echt das Ding essen, wo potenziell eine Mordwaffe mit wahrscheinlich menschlichem Blut und so weiter dran drin steckt? Wait, hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here. I'm already eating it! Ah, a bear that eats meat! Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Oh, no. oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. This, this is bad! Seriously, this is really bad! My, my! There's something inside the meat! <gasps> Look what came out! 
Isn't that... Is that... an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The Sword of Destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? He said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loudmouth, fast food eating hicks. You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Never, never, never turn away about cooking on your grig. Let's just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we should first. I guess we need to settle this once and for all. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. Go over the entire incident, and then I can prove Territorial's crime. That's right. If we don't do that, we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So. We need to do it. If I come to this, my throb is chesting. Closing argument. Yeah, we in the ersten Teil. Well, ähnlich wie im ersten Teil. Und ich glaube, dass man ein paar Dinger. Dass ein paar Dinger gesperrt sind und erst freigeschalten werden, wenn man ein paar. Ja, genau. Wir hatten nur ein paar zur Auswahl und... Uh, everyone at the party is... Hmm. Storage room before the blackout. Irons turned on. Ah, schön. Da wird, da wird direkt gleich gezeigt, wie viel... Oder ob es richtig ist und... Oder nicht. Same scene as at the you know, dining hall. At the office room and the blackout cured. Moment it got dark. Biakia. Who did Biakia see? Did obtain a light. Du, 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 du. After X storage room. Nikmaru is holding it in. Sehr gut. What was found under the tomb? I heard it.
shoot it. Heard it. Here's everything that happened in this case. Let's try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Byakuya had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. Doesn't the unsoft pick off the toilet side? They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for these. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggles. Byakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right, everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. <laughs> Under the table, Byakuya found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed, but... He had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment... The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. <coughs> and then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. 
especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? <laughs> That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? Schreib's mir noch nicht. Okay. Th this is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> <laughs> it seems this is the end. Das war das eine, wo ich nur 66 Punkte bekommen habe. Was? <lacht> It looks like your argument has come to a close. Äh, äh, zur Frage, ähm, ja. Ja. Oops, I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! Ding, 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 ding. Correct! Yahoo! That's right. This time the blackened responsible for killing Byakuya Togami is Taro Taro Hanamura. No, no. No, 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 no. You... Are you serious? Out of all these people, they're saying a pawns like him is the one who killed Byakuya? <laughs> But... <laughs> Why did you kill him? You, you've got it wrong. It was a mistake. I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. Hey! I was only trying to stop the Gita from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop? What do you mean? I... I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party, and then I heard a weird lawther near the dining hall, and when I peeked over there, I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of cleaning duty, putting a knife under the table. <laughs> I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing, and I saw him place the irons he brought in the storage room. And mess with the air conditioner timers. Plus, he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. So, question, yeah? When that happened, he. <clears throat> you caught me? Oh, now I've been caught. What? Been caught? Hey! What are you doing? Uh, what are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Huh? <laughs> Terror, Terror, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. 
Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the days bef beyond that, I'll definitely stop the killing. Impossible! What? No matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... I see you, so that's what you think. Well... But that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. Yeah? That's why I want to be of good use to them. I love all the ultimates, and I admire them for being symbols of hope. Amazing! That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. That's why. <laughs> I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they face may seem. <laughs> I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 no. What are you saying? I don't understand at all. See? Isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you will become even stronger yourself? Which means, the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I... I want to see that brightness, and in order to see it, I'm going to become everybody's stepping stone. I want to make your hopes shine. It's... It's as simple as that. <laughs> That's right. I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. You're kidding, right? Don't tell me you're actually serious. Man. They don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. <laughs> I'm just an obsessed fanboy, so it's alright that this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. No way, no way, no way! You... there's something wrong with you. <laughs> really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? Hey. But isn't that what love is? Nagito, what is the meaning of this? Uh, explain it to me. I don't understand anything about the story at all. See? You see... If you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? Don't fuck with me! Bernard compares to that! What? Huh? Am I wrong? It's given that trials are necessary to become strong, and the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> for mere humans, killings are simply a tragedy, but for worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. Amazing! It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become the trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone's trial. Great! There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it. Yeah, seriously, starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. I was saying you basically wanted to commit murder for fun. <laughs> it's not the same as someone killing for fun, but I guess it looked like, look the same in your eyes. I... I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Terror Terror discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too. Huh? So... Nagito wanted to involve us in the killing, plus it'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Terra Terra? You expected to pique Terra Terra's curiosity, and you looked forward to the mystery becoming more complex. Well... Well, you're basically right. It's just I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That was you're doing as well. You're right. I just casually mention it. No, oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get too close to it. Hey, 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 hey! This dude, he's seriously matched crazy. He's insane. I. That's right, that's why I tried to stop him, you know. 
However... But why? Why did you kill Byakuya instead? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Because Nagito was the one who was supposed to take that knife. That's why I am um, thrusted the iron skewer there. <laughs> why is Byakuya the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagito, not him. Byakuya probably tried to stop Nagito from grabbing that knife. And then, in place of Nagito... Nope. No, I don't think that's it. Huh? Perhaps... Byakuya was probably trying to protect Nagito. What? What did you say? See? Because Byakuya said so, didn't he? Don't worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. <laughs> Could it be in order to keep that promise? Hmm. As long as he was wearing that night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagito. Why? So, Byakuya gave his life to protect Nagito, even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see. Byakuya is amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yet... Such despair! I never expected an ending like this. Huh? <laughs> but, I shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. No way. Could it be? New Byakuya would protect you, so you set, a, set him up to fail? Someone like me? Of course not. I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results of that were going to be my fun for later. Just kidding. How unexpected. But I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Teru Teru. Why? <laughs> well, because Teru Teru decided to commit his crime because he also had strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Teru Teru. What do you mean confirm? Just stop it already. Well... Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also emphasized with Teru Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing Byakuya instead, you know. If I left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? But in order for, for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. Right? Those were my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Teru Teru? <laughs> Man. In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Teru Teru. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourself. You will not die in vain. Great! You will become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else, so their hopes can grow, grow even more powerful. Impossible! Sacrifice? Shut up! Shut up! Seriously, stop it already. I'm gonna go crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey! Is it really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Is it better if we just fucking kill him off? Yeah! -ha! Kill, he said. High school students are so violent these days. <laughs> but the person who's gonna get killed now isn't Nagito, it's Teru Teru. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you didn't forget, right? Because I told you already at the beginning, right? If the Black and Killer loses, a fun punishment awaits them. Wait. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. That was, uh, how should I put it, an accident. Um, an act of self-defense. Uh, not intentional. Anyway, it, it feels possible it's not my fault. I feel it's possible. Hey! It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional, a murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. Hey! But isn't there anything like sympathy judgments? Uh, extenuating circumstances? Or maybe even probation? Impossible! 
impossible! I don't accept any of those claims! Th that's... That's not... Hey! Save me, you guys. I was only trying to stop the keto, so... Why are you? Be honest, after learning about Nagito's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought about... thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? W wrong! Ah. Uh, hmm. There's no way a person who has no malice would kill someone like that. <laughs> In truth, you were just desperate to kill Naito and willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already, at least... In the end. No, no. No, 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 no. That is... Teru, Teru. Why? If only it didn't try to kill Nagito, Yakia would still be alive. Answer me. Why did you try to commit murder? I answer me, Teru, Teru. I just, I just wanted to go home. I needed to go back home no matter what! <clears throat> because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate Hope Speak Academy and come home. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom. You don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I know that already. I, I know that already. I promised. <clears throat> I promised her I'd become a full-fledged cook and save the Hanamura Diner. Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! Uh. Terror, terror. <laughs> but if we were told our memories were stolen and that several years have passed since our first day, hey, hey. then what happened to the Hanamura Diner? What happened to my mom, who's still waiting for me? Uh. I did believe what Monokuma said. Damn it! You're saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So, why? W wrong! I still don't believe it. <laughs> There's no way I can believe it. it. It has to be a lie. That's why I wanted to go home! <laughs> I wanted to go home and confirm it. I want to make sure it was all just a lie. Want to make sure that I still have a place to call home. <coughs> Terry, ter you... <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not that Terry ter didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it, because he believed it. He needed to deny it. Dad, if I only knew how he felt, something like this never would have happened. I I wanted to confirm by any means necessary. I had to do something. That's when I heard Nagito's plan. I found out he was going to kill someone if I left him alone. <laughs> that's why. That's why. Fine, fine. So you want the first kill? I'm sorry. It doesn't mean I want to sacrifice any of you, but it was the only thing I could do. And I ended up killing Byakuya instead of Nagito. <laughs> I see. I think I'm the one who went crazy. Teru, Teru. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting. But, <laughs> as far as motives to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mom is so is boring. What? So, yahoo! It seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't! No, you can't! 
Jeez, get out of my way! <laughs> well now. There, now that the annoying little sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Oh, wait, uh, hold on a sec. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but, but at least. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For Terra Terra Hanamura, the ultimate cook! Hey! Call me Chef! No, wait, that's not what I... Please! Please, please tell me at least what happened to the Hanamura diner, to Mom. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Lies! I won't believe this! I won't believe it. Dream! Yeah! <sighs> the adrena adrenaline is rushing through me! Ah! Teru Teru! Damn it! Are you fucking serious? It's war keine Lava. It's war. Das war kochendes Öl. Der wurde. Wird zuerst geeiert, dann wurde er paniert und dann wurde er frittiert. How cruel! Why? Why did you do something so cruel? Wah wah? Huh? Didn't you learn when you were in elementary school if you badmouth someone? The teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouth read it to you in front of the class. No. When that happens, only then you do th well, only then do you think about how it feels to be badmouthed. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? You're the one who drove him to do it. <laughs> this is so cruel. This is just too cruel. Nice. When it can't be helped, rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Hmm? Huh? I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? I'm going to eat it. I take it on. I However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is. <laughs> Figured it out yet? That's right, you guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. Guys wanna know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. <clears throat> Why? Why didn't you tell Terutero Terru about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. You... Yeah, us too. We all have a right to know. Bastard! Hey, hurry up and tell us. 
What did you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? Memories. <laughs> oh yeah, Dad promised to return your memories after the killing began. <laughs> uh, you're not gonna do it, but telling them is kind of. <laughs> but I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away. What? Not fair. Of course. I keep my promise to return with your memory someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. <laughs> no. I must excuse myself as well. There's something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? S so cruel! That's not fair. They both ran away. Then... Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid! Cher Cher, you stupid. Such despair. An ending like this is just full of despair. Seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this, <laughs> as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You. You. Why are you smiling? Crap! How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on. I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. Your ultimates inspire hope and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck with me! Don't go saying creepy shit, I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Please, kill me anytime. What? If you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. <clears throat> I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. Someone like me? If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. Mm. You? How messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're going to kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. I seriously in intending to help the killer. <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. You're students of Hope Speak Academy. If you're the symbols of Hope who possess the chosen talents. Great! Then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? You fiend. <clears throat> Declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey! Mado was, was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well... Well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Byakuya, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. This is exciting! Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you. One after the other. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You pissed me off. Can I punch you? I just won't be satisfied till I punch you. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time. If we keep dealing with him. What? Nah. Even Hachim hates me now. How unfortunate. That stinks. I felt you and I were quite similar. What does that? Isn't that right? You held a special feeling towards Hope's Peak Academy. Just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Hey. But how can you say you're not? Makuma said it himself. We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> now, if it's true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, okay? Uh, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. Kani, please feel free to punch him. <laughs> Will do. Wait! Hold on! Please stop! Nothing will come from fighting like this. There, There's something else that we must do. Huh? Something else? Please listen! We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Let me ask. Who which is? Do our best. You fiend. Hmm. Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. Then we shall all work together and do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe we must do right now. I am sorry. 
If only I was better motivation was a better motivational speaker. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Yes. Yes, that is right. Like. But what do we have to what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know, but we must do our best. Jeez. I don't get you all, you at all. Are you some kind of moron? Well? It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right? So, let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. But... It's scary, but doing our best is our only option. There's no way I'm doing what N Nagi just said. I'm gonna do it! Alright. I don't know what you're <clears throat> what you're talking about, but let's do our best for now. Fine. Very well. Even if we are not able to to change the future, I guess I should at least change my tomorrow. <coughs> Damn fiend! I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. <coughs> I give my entire existence and my entire power, my entire body and soul, and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again, even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we continued to say it over and over again without stopping. Warum hat die nix unternimmt und ist zu warm auf der Insel? Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Byakuya and Teru Teru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Chippewalk Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. <clears throat> After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there was it. And there it was, the night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, it can go anywhere. A thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going to go home. Mm -hmm. That's when it happened. As I stared up at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then, when I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? Uh oh. Wooden stick. But Okay. For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Okay. Ah. Magic America, come on me. Wenn wir uns mal anschauen. 
wenn wir mit dem eigentlichen Spiel fertig sind. Den Modus, den Modus, den Modus. Habe ich jetzt 107 Münzen habe ich jetzt. Denke ich mal, habe ich auf jeden Fall erstmal nicht wahrscheinlich nicht wirklich irgendwie Probleme mit mit äh, Geschenken und so weiter. So, da Bjarke jetzt natürlich tot ist, äh, braucht man jemand Neues für die Free Time Events. Und wenn ich mich recht erinnere, ist glaube ich Nagito in nächster Zeit nicht verfügbar. Aber das sollte relativ schnell geklärt sein. Ich glaube sogar noch bevor, bevor die ersten Freetime-Events anfangen, soll es glaube ich erklärt werden, warum. Na, ja, könnt, könnt ihr euch bis morgen mal ein paar Gedanken machen, wenn ihr, wenn ihr gerne so sehen möchtet in den Freetime-Events. Jetzt habt ihr, jetzt kennt ihr ja die Leute ein kleines bisschen besser. Koch, Koch ist auch tot, ja. Hm. Ich muss sagen, Freetime-Events von den Leuten hier kenne ich überhaupt nicht. Daher keine Ahnung ob welche gut sind oder ob, ob welche scheiße sind oder so. Kann ich leider keine Empfehlung oder so geben, weil ich kenne keine, keine Freetime-Events. Hm. 